whenever you see that there is an icon here, you click on that icon and then that takes you into the mobile view. So you can see that I have some things to do as far as correcting it because I'm disappeared. I've disappeared out of the picture. Uh, if I don't want myself in the picture, then I can just leave it like this and probably hide this one. So um, in my column settings, I can just go here and then see how it still has these iPads. So that's saying that it's um, we're in the responsive editing view for that breakpoint. So then if I go to advance, I can say um, we can stack or there could be a stacking order or at this breakpoint here uh, for medium devices, I only want this box to show up on large devices. So if I did that and saved it, that box is going to disappear and then this is going to go full width. And then what I need to do is go into edit my fancy text and then when I have my margins, I need a left and right margin otherwise that's going to get way too close together. So I'll probably do like 20 on each side or 40 or something like that. Maybe I need 40 on the left. So then you're going to see uh, the way it looks there. Uh, if I need to make any changes as far as the fancy text with typography for this specific size, so say that like the suffix prefix, I want that all to fit on one line and I need to make that to a 21 or a uh, 28 where it's all on one line, but then it keeps the uh, part where it's scrolling, the scrolling text, the fancy text part uh, a little bit larger. So then I can do that. And so then I'm happy with the way that looks. Maybe like I don't put myself in there. I don't have my face or anything like that in there and that's fine. So I scroll through, I'm happy with the way that looks. And then on this one, um, maybe this needs to go up a little bit more or this can come down a little bit more. Either way, uh, I need to fix this because I don't like the way that that's all styled. So if I go in here to edit column or edit photo, and then see what the advance is. So there's nothing there. Maybe if we go into edit column, go into column settings here, then we can say that this needs to go uh, back down to zero. And then we can put a, uh, go ahead and save that. And then hit edit. And then we can add spacing on the right side. So maybe that's like, just 25 pixels or something like that or uh, 30 pixels so now we have a book we have all this information hit save that looks a little bit better I would rather have this be uh, breathed just a little bit more than what it is right now and so whenever um, we need that to breathe I would go in and into the advanced area and add more padding so maybe that will be like a 60 and 60 there. And then now that gives it a little bit more opportunity to basically, you know, read it rather than everything being crunched together. So the other thing is, is the row here. This is the big one because this is going to give you the 65 BH. Remember where we set that earlier in the video. So if we go into style and then we have the minimum height, we had a minimum height of 65. This, we can just change it to maybe 25 or 45. Right, there I am. You see me now? So if we left it here at 65, well, that's saying pixels. We don't want that pixels. It was uh, VH is what we had it. So if we did 25 or you know 35 or whatever it is, then you can see I'm kind of sneaking my way back in. Um, maybe we wanted to change that where that column is no longer that we can see that column. But we can't do that now because uh, I made adjustments to it. So let's go ahead and hit done and then publish. And then let's hit Beaver Builder here. And then we'll have to go in this column setting and go to column settings. And from there, you have to go into advance and then change that to all devices again and hit save. And we change that to all devices. We hit save and then publish. 
We hit Save and Publish. We can then open Beaver Builder back up. Notice all our changes are still there for the desktop. So if we go in and just click on any of these, it could be Edit Column, it could be Edit the Fancy Text, it could be whatever. So any of those, and then wherever you see this, we can change that to the mobile view. And now that's back. So if that's back, we can then click edit or make any of the changes. So for this one, on the fancy text, we're gonna wanna change the size of the font again. So maybe that's going to be an 18 or um, a 21 or something like that, right? So we had 21. And then this one, we can go ahead and adjust this. So the column settings here. And then the width of this, we don't have to keep it the same width. We can keep it at like 5% or, um, you know, 3%, 10%, whatever, right? So just leave it like that, hit save. And then that will still show up, but then we still have this here. Um, the next part is, is that we want to obviously put me in the picture. And so what we'll do is adjust that with the minimum height and we'll maybe make that like a 40. All right, so we actually need to make it like a 25 or a 30, 30 looks good. Uh, maybe 25 was pretty good. 25 kept, kept it pretty consistent. So then we can save that. And now we have, you know, us here and then this one here and that so that looks good this is a little bit much maybe we don't want 60 or 100 up on top we can probably shrink that down to like 60 because that's going to be way too much so we'll scroll down here and we have our fixed width go into our advanced because this is where our paddings were so if we just did 60 rather than the 100 then that looks pretty good save that We'll scroll down here and now we need this is where the fun begins because now we're going to start stacking stuff and um, if we go into the box settings or the column settings that's where this is going to get fun so it's adding another 60 we can go in here and make this where it actually stacks uh, let's see Let's go here, there, there should be like a mobile equal, yes, yes, there. So advanced, what we're gonna have to do is add, we're gonna make that a, let's cancel that. on this and then go to our info box really quick our info box may have to make some changes here as far as the way that this is laid out because I really don't like the way that the element is looking and then also with the responsive so if there is not so the mobile alignment is obviously left or right but if there's no stacking or anything like that that can occur, or at least the way that this is ordered, then what we'll have to do is make this a separate box or separate information. All right, so if I go in, I just save this right now. I'll just say what it is. And then I go in and I make a uh, another row. So I know that I have the other one down here that's six, seven, eight, all that stuff. And I make this one where this row is only visible on large devices. So if I go uh, breakpoint is just large devices. So it's only gonna show up on large devices. So you're gonna see one of these disappear in uh, then we're going to be editing editing the other one. So we have two of them here, but we're just going to edit this one. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually 
create this where I have number one, and then I'm going to move this one to below this inside this box. There we go. If it lets me. There we go. Drop that one. One there. Oops, sorry, we're not going to do that. We're going to make this where it's another row by itself. So we'll do. I'm going to drag this one. Put it back there. We are going to move the column in a new row. So see how it's the searcher intent, right like that. And then we'll grab this one. We'll do a new column in a new row. So we'll move that here. I didn't grab that. I didn't do that one right. So that one needs to go not there. So we need to grab this and move the column. And we'll just stack it in the same in the same row because we're just stacking them on top of each other. So one on top of another. And so it's easier to read and you can scroll really quick uh, rather than having to keep scrolling long text and all that stuff here. So we'll go in here and edit, move column, move that one below here. Sometimes, like I said, if it doesn't pick up, then you have to go up above and then drag and drop it in. So notice how I'm putting everything in that same area. And now I can go here, click on this, and then move column. And we'll grab this one. Move column and add it here in number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right like that. Uh, the other one, we obviously are not going to use uh, that row or anything like that that was there before. I think it's right there. So we're just going to delete this. So you can see that this is a row by rolling over it. So just remove that because we're not going to use that one. This one is only going to be on small and medium devices. So wherever we go here, we're going to select the advanced tab. And then breakpoint is going to be medium and small devices only. So we're going to save that. All right, so let's click done and then publish. Same information, just have to reconfigure it just a little bit in order for it to work. So we have it that looks like this, wherever we're there, and then wherever we go into a responsive mode. So if I hit F12 on my keyboard and I click on uh, this right here, the toggle, and I go into an iPad, or responsive mode or anything like that, and I can see exactly what happens. So if I scroll down a little bit, this is 2,900, or yeah, 2,098, 2,098 pixels wide. You can see wherever I shrink that, what happens. If I go into um, 1,000, 2,000, whatever it is, or like the 700, 800, then you can see how this starts reacting and it goes into more of a mobile. So that mobile um, is allowing me to go in and make those changes. So you can see like at that breakpoint, nine something, I think 960, then it starts to go in and start stacking. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing here for these, which I can do really quick. Um, but besides that, I think that our mobile is starting to look fairly good. We have the review, we have that review, and we'll just have to do the same thing here as far as the stacking. But besides that, that gives us a pretty good opportunity um, to show up for responsive mobile or responsiveness. And that's just some of the stuff that you do 
uh, in order to fix that. So it's really, really just a matter of configuring it, going in here, clicking on Beaver Builder, clicking edit on one of the modules, and then selecting the mobile or the responsive. So if I click here, this is gonna change it to an iPad. And then this is what the design as an iPad is gonna look like. All devices are not created equal. So you will have to configure your device that's in there in the MRFP stuff that you should be looking at is how to um, add a responsive device to your Google Chrome browser. And I believe that is in your Google Analytics course. So don't quote me on that, but I think that that's where that's at. Um, all right, so this information, changing that information out, this looks good. I'm happy with it. I don't mind this as much. Uh, maybe if I took like the guarantee out or something like that, or I started like changing the stacking order or something like that and reversed it, you know, or hid this column or something. Same thing that I did up here. And then we look at this as far as mobile. So I just click it one more time and then it goes into mobile. So this looks good. Um, our guarantee, fast turnarounds, this, that. And then the information there, there's the uh, slider. Here's the um, large image and then this. So I would probably want to go into each one of these. These are different. Um, I'd want to click on the edit for this whenever it comes to the mobile side and add some padding. I don't want it to go directly in there. Like that's going to look really, really bad. Maybe it's in our column settings that we actually do that. So we go into the column settings for this and we add a little bit of padding on the left and right. So maybe like 20 pixels and 20 pixels. So like it's just a little bit of space for us to use rather than it just being like squeezed tight and hard to read. And it's just, I, I don't like that. So I think you've heard me say that enough times throughout this video. But this gives you an opportunity to, you know, really make things look good and mobile friendly. And wherever you do that, then you know that your conversions are going to get, uh, you have a better opportunity as far as converting your traffic into a lead. So I'm doing that right now. But besides that, I think that this wraps it up as far as the mobile responsiveness, the uh, whole beaver builder tutorial on how to build out your web page and i do like where we ended uh, with all of this i think it looks really good and i'm super happy as far as the whole overall site design and where we're going from here so it's really nice and uh, we'll start building out more items in beaver builder in any of the other videos so we'll do like an about page or we'll do you know, contact page and stuff like that, and just show you guys how you can utilize Beaver Builder and design with it and the same tools and stuff like that that I use. We can go on and on with tutorials all day long, but um, this definitely gives you a good start on how to use the tools, what to do, what to look for, and how to make your changes wherever you're using these modules. So look forward to speaking to you guys in the next video, and uh, take care.